Hey there, fellow cruisers. Welcome back to Pachi Travels. Where we're setting sail into the world of cruise tips and tricks. Today, we're uncovering some important things you should never do on a cruise ship. Do's and don'ts to ensure your cruise experience is smooth sailing from start to finish. Don't bring drugs on board. Everywhere, there are rules that must be followed, but those rules are even more important on a ship. If you break these rules, you may be banned from boarding. One of these rules is don't bring drugs on board. Every ship has its own set of strict rules, and one cardinal rule is crystal clear, don't bring illegal substances on board. Why? Well, my fellow cruisers, it's not just a buzzkill. It's a ticket to serious consequences that can quickly turn your dream cruise into a nightmare. So, let's swap the rocky waters for smooth sailing and keep the party legal and enjoyable for everyone. Don't leave your phone roaming cellular data on. Now, when it comes to cruising, there's a crucial tip that can save you from an ocean of unexpected expenses. Don't leave your phone roaming cellular data on. So, fellow cruisers, let's keep our phones smart and our wallets even smarter. Remember, check those settings, turn off roaming cellular data, and enjoy a worry-free. When your phone is set to roam on cellular data, it means it's connecting to networks outside your home country. And while that might be seamless when you're strolling through your neighborhood, it's a whole different story at sea. Now, imagine this. You're basking in the sun on the deck, snapping insta-worthy pics, watching some videos, and suddenly, bam. Your phone connects to an international network, and before you know it, those roaming charges start piling up faster than waves in a storm. Trust me, those charges can be scarier than a sea monster. Only stay on passenger areas. Now, while it's tempting to explore every nook and cranny, it's crucial to stick to the designated passenger areas. Here's why. Think of the passenger areas as the heart of the cruise experience. The places where everyone can mingle, unwind, and enjoy the amenities provided by the ship. These areas are designed for maximum enjoyment and safety. You've got the dazzling pools, the delicious dining spots, the vibrant entertainment venues, and more. The cruise line has carefully curated these spaces to ensure everyone has a fantastic and safe time on board. Now, when it comes to those off-limits areas, there's a reason they're marked as such. These might include crew-only zones, maintenance areas, or spaces that are temporarily closed for various reasons. It's not about limiting your adventure, it's about prioritizing safety and maintaining the ship's functionality. Don't talk to crew members with disrespect. Next up. A little courtesy goes a long way. Don't talk to the amazing crew members with disrespect. They work hard to make sure you have a fantastic experience. They work for months, without leaving the ship and without seeing their families. A simple, thank you, can make all the difference. Let's spread those good vibes. Don't share the alcohol packages. Here's a sneaky one. Don't share those alcohol packages. It might seem like a great idea at first, but it's against the rules. Plus, nobody likes a party pooper, right? So, keep the cruise vibes positive, and enjoy responsibly. If you want to enjoy a drink and you don't have it included, pay for it. Don't risk having a good time on your vacation for the paltry price of a drink. Research shore excursions outside the cruise line. Now, when it comes to planning your shore excursions during a cruise, it's not just about the destination, it's about how you experience it. And here's a pro tip for you don't forget to explore excursion options beyond what the cruise line offers. You might just find hidden gems at a better price. Let me break it down for you. Before your cruise, hop online and explore local tour operators, travel websites, and forums. You'd be surprised at the variety of unique excursions and experiences offered by local providers. And here's the golden nugget. These options can sometimes be more affordable than the ones offered by the cruise line. For instance, Let's say your cruise stops at a tropical paradise. The cruise line might offer a standard beach day excursion for a set price. But with a bit of research, you could find a local tour operator offering a similar beach experience with added perks like a private guide or exclusive access at a fraction of the cost. Or picture this. Your ship docks at a historical city, and the cruise line proposes a city tour. Guess what? A quick search might reveal a walking tour led by a passionate local guide who knows all the hidden gems, and it could be more budget-friendly. Now, a word of caution. While searching for those fantastic deals, always be mindful of time. 
ensure that the excursion you choose allows you to return to the ship well before departure. Missing the ship is every cruiser's nightmare, so plan wisely and set an alarm if needed. Do not skip the safety drill. Safety first, always. Do not, I repeat, do not skip the safety drill. It may seem routine, but it's crucial information that can make a big difference in case of an emergency. Your safety matters, folks. Sometimes it can be boring to follow the drills, but those few minutes you will lose following the instructions of the cruise staff, can make the difference in case of need. And there you have it, our essential list of things you should never do on a cruise. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more cruise adventures. Until next time, smooth seas and happy cruising. Thanks.